So, moving on to separation of powers, specifically in the context of executive power and presidential appointments, who can tell me the facts from SALA Law versus CFPB? Stephen. Okay, so I'm going to spill the tea on this post-financial crisis landscape. In 2008, the economy gets low-key roasted, and there's really no slave vibes. Define slave vibes. Like high key popping off great continue so congress basically says fuck that noise and they clap back with some lit legislation which among other hype beast plays creates the consumer financial protection bureau which is low-key a huge slay huge flex no cap no cap <laughs> no cap not one not a single cap banger jen what's the t after that so the t is the bureau gets a single director who's the, the president handpicks, but who only gets to go off if the Senate says, period. Once that director's in, it's straight up boots for five years, and the president can only curve them if the vibes are seriously off. How off? Like, girl, hella savage. She's gotta be salty. So anyway, the CFPB is fully yeeting these predatory lenders, and big banks are ready to start snatching wigs. So finally, this firm, Sila Law, decides to clap back but CELA is low-case sus because they are thirsting for that deregulation, and they're like, honey, your agency structure violated the separation of powers doctrine, like fully fumbles the bag. Would you even say Congress goofed it? Bet. But CFPB didn't come to play. They came to slay. They don't stand that type of savagery, so they take CELA to court. Slay. Stephen, can you pop off on the posture for us, please? So the district court says, girl, don't. The CPFP structure is low-key a banger, like lit as is, and the Ninth Circuit affirms and says, hold on to your wigs, because the director slayed the house down boots. Boots. And Anne, I'm hella hyped for that holding. What did the go to go to say? Absolutely. So Justice Roberts says it's a violation of the separation of powers doctrine for an administrative agency to be headed by a single director when the president doesn't have at will removal power. Such an agency structure placing extensive power in one person violates the Constitution's vision for government, given the lack of executive oversight. And no shade, but in the future, please don't speak if you don't have a full grasp of the material. Stephen, pop off, please. Yeah, so this opinion is a bop. Like, Justice Roberts is fully spilling. Like, his body is tea. He's high-key saying we don't fucks with an organization with a single director when the president can't eat them. And when we say Roberts doesn't fucks, do we mean that in the due process sense or the sense we mean when we teach it in property law? From the context of the holding, I read Justice Roberts as saying F-U-X-X, -X, like in more of a liberty due process and perhaps even a 14th Amendment sense. I'm gagged. Great textual synthesis. Well, that's all the tea for today. Uh, next class, I'd like you all to come having reread Humphrey's Executors. And if you have any questions, uh, please just hit me up in my office hours, period. Period.